Hello and welcome to Infinity. The histogram is a very useful tool. It's mostly about tones as opposed to colours. In other words, the blacks and whites and how light or dark things are. When you use a raw photograph, you set your camera to take raw and you come into Affinity Photo, it'll spot that it's raw and start off in, you know, it says raw up there in the develop persona. And the first thing you see is the histogram and this tells you about this picture yeah, you know, but the distribution across here and that there's up down here, that blank area there, I mean, there's not much in the light region. And there's more down here in the dark and a lot in the midtone. So let's what happens to the shape of this curve as we play with the individual controls. As I increase the exposure, look what happens. It's stretching it. The bottom's anchored, but it's stretching it out to the right. And if I keep going, it falls off the other side. And when it falls off, you end up with a bit of a bar there to show that. But basically it means everything's gone completely white. And the more you go, the more white it goes till pretty much everything's white. Then if I go back the other way, the bottom is still anchored, but it's squeezing it up and up and up. So you've got more and more squished together. So it's all dark. There's nothing on the light side here until it's pretty much all dark. There's still a bit of detail there, but it's it's just here. So if you double click um, the little dot, by the way, it goes back to its zero position. You can also reset a little section with this circle there. From the exposure, which anchors the bottom and stretches it from the top, let's go down to contrast, because this is a sort of opposite. Because as I increase this, and go upwards here, see it anchors the top and stretches it downwards. Yeah. And in doing so, because you've stretched it out across more, you get more contrast in the picture. Although you get, if you go too far, when things fall off the edge, you're going to get areas which are black. And if you go the other way, it squeezes up together, again anchoring the top and dragging it up from the bottom. So you've now got a large area here where there's no black and the colours start in the mid greys and finish off not much further above. The black point, when I move this up, now it's sliding it down again. Yeah, and it looks quite a bit different because it's changing the shape of a bit. It's not using a slightly different thing because when you push the contrast up, see it goes down and it looks a little bit different. So the black point is a slightly different shape to the way that it does it to the contrast. So those are very similar in effect. So sometimes you want to try a bit of each. And with brightness, this is again the bottoms anchored and now you're moving the, this upwards. Yeah. Let's reset that and moving that up, upwards, which is very similar to exposure. And it's a more subtle form and, and you turn this all the way up and that's as far as it's going to go. Whereas exposure you turn all the way up, it pushes it right off. It's a lot harsher effect. So often you might start with playing around the black point and the brightness and then add in exposure and contrast to sort of do a more exaggerated effect. Um, these three down here, clarity, saturation and vibrance, are more about the colours. But what you've got further down here is shadows and highlights. And let's see what these do. Watch the histogram again. As I turn this up, because this is working on shadows, so it's only going to be the bottom part of the histogram, the top part doesn't change much. It's mostly about squeezing up the bottom. So in a bas basically, if you've got shadows in the picture, they're going to get lighter. So it lightens the shadows, but doesn't do much, do much to the highlights. Go the other way down, you're effectively darkening the shadows. See, so yeah, I've turned this all the way down. There's still plenty of you know, the picture looks not too bad, but I've just stretched the bottom bit downwards. The top hasn't changed too much. Highlights, unsurprisingly, does the, the opposite thing. So when I turn this up, see it's stretching out the top part, but leaving the bottom part again. So the, the shadows don't change much. You're tweaking the highlights and back the other way. You're squeezing out. See that pulls that right up in there. So that's 
turning the highlights down so it's darkening the highlights. So let's have a look at using all these together. I'm going to use as many as, as possible here just to sort of show effects, but typical things do. Some people actually start off, they just crank the shadows sometimes all the way up and the highlights all the way down. And what this does is this flattens the picture, it squeezes it in from the edges in order to stretch it out with the other things. So the black point then, if we turn this up, it'll stretch, start pulling it down. And you notice the, there's a little blue line going up here, which means the, this blue is, is going to be uh, its maximum, 255. Um, and this can start to, might affect the colours. Once you get, you get individual colours uh, doing this, then you get that kind of effect. So we'll totally pull it down a bit until we get a bit to the edge, watching the picture always at the same time. And let's stretch it out the other way with brightness. In fact, it can only go so far. So let's stretch it the rest of the way to fill out the the whole thing with the histogram here with exposure. But now this is looking a little bit on the kind of bright side. So we're going to pull it back down again with the contrast. And the contrast comes down here and we're going to let the white bit come to the edge here. We go to, we go too far, we tend to, tend to overdo it a bit. And so here, look at the difference now how we've changed the picture. What you often get with this is at the end, um, you might, it seems to be a bit saturated. So I will typically, if I've tweaked it a bit like this, pull the saturation down just a bit to make the colours a little bit more sensible. Anyway, that's it. I hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching.